Hello lovely people. Today I'm going to be putting all the theory into practice. So I was talking about uh, car transfer functions in a few previous videos and I did like theoretical exercises with um, with how to find your car transfer function and I do believe I did like a sixth or the bandpass box that's like ideal without AQ and today I'm going to be doing something interesting to double check how theory and math works with reality. So in one of the previous videos, probably you saw that I replaced my front uh, center console subwoofer from the ScanSpeak that I had to Dayton sub. And what I have here, <clears throat> I have actual frequency response measurements for both of those drivers in exactly the same location, the same box, same volume, everything the same, it's just different drivers. And as you can see, so they're not level matched. Let me level match it very quickly so we can uh, compare. Oh, no, the wrong one. I grabbed the wrong one. This one. Let's level match it quickly. There we go. Something like that. Doesn't have to be like very, very accurate, but that's what it is. So as you can see, the Dayton has more low end, and this is how it's supposed to be according to the predictions. So let's use, I'm going to disable this one, the Dayton one, and what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to be using the ScanSpeak uh, actual frequency response. I'm going to derive the transfer function of that location, and I'm going to try to predict what kind of response would I get from that date and sub if I would use just theoretical uh, responses. So I'm using VTUXCAD because it's the only program that allows me to save the frequency response. So basically I choose here uh, the date and driver that already entered in enclosure sealed 15 liters, which is the half a cubic foot, as you can see 0.53 cubic feet. And this is the frequency response, according to the modeling software. And this frequency response, I have the option here is to save it as a, like a text file. And then I can import it into REW. So I do this with the data driver, and I do exactly the same with the ScanSpeak driver. And what I have after the import into REW, I have these two graphs. So this is it. If I remove uh, this one, the actual measurement. So these two graphs is exactly the same as this. One is for ScanSpeak and the other one is for the Dayton. So the SPL <laughs> offset doesn't matter. What matters is the actual roll off and the shape. And these graphs are exactly the same as you would make with um, WinISD because it's, it's the same thing. It's just this one lets me uh, export it as TXT files. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this one and now it's basic uh, math. So we'll go to controls and trace arithmetic. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this actual measurement that I made from the car, which is this one, scan speak, and I'm going to divide it by the response that is modeled. So I'm going to divide it by, uh, which one is it? The blue line. So you take the green one and you divide it by the blue one, and then I'm going to generate it. And this line at the bottom is the transfer function of that location in my car. So you can see that transfer function, what it does, it basically boosts everything below 100 hertz. So I'm going to name this as transfer function. So this is a transfer function of the car. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that transfer function, TF, 
and I'm going to multiply it by number four, which is this, the modeled response of the date and driver. So number four and generate. And this is the blue line. I'm going to remove this out of the way and this out of the way. And this blue line is predicted or derived from the transfer function. So predicted daten. So this is the predicted daten response from basic math plus minus blah, blah, blah. So now I'm interested how this predicted response is similar to the actual response that I measured. So I'm going to enable it. And now I need to just level match it and to see if they match or not. So okay, this one again, offset doesn't matter. I'm going to bring it up. And as you can see, it matches very, very extremely close. So everything like here, 15, 16 Hertz, um, it can be contributed to some floor noise, the differences, because at such low frequencies, there's loads of floor noise that my mic picks up. And the higher frequencies here, they don't really matter because uh, you cannot model them because this model, uh, where's this one? This model accounts only for the roll off. So it doesn't do anything for the high frequencies. You cannot predict that. The only thing that it does, it's when the roll off starts and how steep that roll off is. So basically, if you play with these functions from this experiment, if I zoom in like from let's say 200 Hertz and so like this area, it matches pretty, pretty close. And if I add some smoothing, let's say, let's add one sixth because this is no smoothing. There we go. It matches extremely, extremely close. You have like maybe one and a half DB difference. The biggest difference is like here, maybe like two, two DB, two and a half DB, but this is extremely, extremely close. So the conclusion is because I haven't done this exercise with real data, but the conclusion is that you can use the transfer function of the car if you know all the TS parameters of the drivers that you use and you can use it with extremely high accuracy. And that's what I'm planning to do with my mids and with the tweeters as well. So that's gonna be next videos. But this is just proof that transfer function really, really works and it works with great accuracy. So yeah, I'm pretty surprised to be honest because I, was, I wasn't expected that it's gonna match so, so good. So how do you use this? If you have a driver somewhere, it, it can be a subwoofer, it can be a mid range, it can be anything and you're not happy with the response, you want something else, you know what kind of response you want, what you can do, just uh, model a lot of drivers, model loads of drivers, save those frequency response responses, predicted frequency responses, and uh, make yourself a transfer function of that specific location, and then just multiply, 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 and then you can check which response uh, you like the best. So yeah, I'm happy about it. Cool, short one. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.